there, welcome to Lima Bean Living. Today's video is a clean with me marathon video. If you guys haven't checked out this video that I've linked above, please do. It kind of explains why I'm posting some marathon videos right now, as well as just some more like community posts or maybe even shorts. Uh, as opposed to a lot of new content. And while the quality of some of these clips is not the best, I really hope that it still provides you guys some cleaning motivation. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a get it all done video, hopefully motivating you to start your weekend off with a nice clean house. First, I'm going to light this peach bellini candle to make everything smell great as I clean my kitchen and living area. My fruit holder was becoming a catch-all for Aubrey's baby food among other random objects, so I thought I would transfer her baby food into these awesome reusable pouches and store them in the freezer. I love using these with the attachable spoon rather than feeding her straight from the container whenever we are out and about. That way if she doesn't finish her food, I won't have to worry about it leaking and getting everywhere. Next, I moved on to the dishes. I figured I would wash out the baby food containers to reuse them later, either for snacks for Aubrey or for her to use them as toys. She's in a stage where she likes taking off lids and putting them back on, so these are perfect for her. In general, I like to reuse plastic containers at least once or twice before I get rid of them. You will see in a bit that I recycle the sour cream container. These are perfect for giving friends treats so that they don't feel the need to return a container to you. Or if you are going to eat a lunch out and you don't really want to carry around a dirty container for the rest of your outing. One tip for a clean kitchen is if you don't use an appliance at least three times a week, go ahead and store it in one of your cabinets or drawers. This will help make sure that your kitchen countertops are clean and uncluttered.
Here's your reminder to go ahead and scrub down your stovetop little dials. Those things can get pretty dirty, so go and clean them right now. Well, actually, wait until after the video, but make sure you get that done today. I noticed that my fridge was getting a little too cluttered for my liking, so I decided to go ahead and quickly reorganize the shelves and disinfect as needed. Luckily it wasn't too dirty since I recently did a deep clean before Juan came home from his deployment. I then just wanted to give my sink a quick scrub to make it extra shiny and clean. After topping off my soap dispenser, I went ahead and dropped in just a few drops of this oil from the dollar store actually, and it is coconut citrus, it smells amazing, and it just helps the kitchen sink smell really nice. I then moved on to cleaning up Aubrey's area from dinner time. We had rice that night and rice was everywhere. So after wiping down her seat, I went ahead and disinfected that and just cleaned up the surrounding area. You hurt me, you did, several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. This mat was gifted to us by a dear friend, and it makes meal cleanup a breeze. Still I'm better with and without you. Oh, I, I'm on it, I want it, but You don't need a kill, uh, 
The last little chore I wanted to do before I swept the floors was clean this window. This window is the one that Aubrey loves to go ahead and put her hands on as she's eating and it was just very smudgy. We recently picked up this Bissell Symphony 2-in-1 vacuum and steam mop from Walmart and it has been a lifesaver. Before I would have to sweep our tile and then use like a billion Swiffer wipes to clean the floors. Now I can do both at once and when I'm done I can simply throw the mop cloth into the washer for its next use. As you can see, our floor got pretty dirty, so I was really excited to go ahead and finally mop these floors. This is pretty much the only clip that you can actually tell that the steam mop is working so I really wanted to show you guys that I really was steam mopping my floor, I wasn't just vacuuming. This used to be white you guys. It is amazing at how well that Bissell Symphony cleans our floors. I don't think I can go back. And the great thing is, is I can just throw it in with my laundry and everything will be good as new for the next time I want to mop my floors. If you haven't noticed by now, I vacuum this area of my rug a million times because it gets really matted down. Are there any tips for fixing that problem on your rugs? If not, I will just have to continue to do that. But you guys, these vacuum lines, I'm really enjoying rewatching this right now.
And there you guys have it. I hope that this video inspires you to clean your house and get it all done. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. We'd love to have you subscribe and stick around and we will see you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video will hopefully provide some major spring cleaning motivation for you. I had such a huge list of things that I wanted to get done that I split up the work over three days. This was also because I can only get stuff done while Aubrey is sleeping, so time is somewhat limited. Day one, I decided to tackle the bathrooms, which were in need of some major TLC. One cleaning tip is to grab a basket to collect all items that will be replaced or need to find a new home. This makes cleaning surfaces much easier and is quicker than moving each item one by one. For the sinks and tubs, I decided to work smarter and not harder and let the cleaner do the work for me. And I gotta say, watching the grossness rinse away was super satisfying. Later in the afternoon, I took down a few of our Valentine's Day decorations and called it a day. Day two, I decided to take on the kitchen. I began by trying my best to clean our oven. This was a little extra, especially since we won't be in this house at the end of the year, but it was bugging me, so, you know. Turns out the cleaner I had only did so much. I ended up grabbing a razor and was able to scrape away most of the gunk that seemed forever stuck to the glass and on the oven walls. Since I couldn't find the razor holder, I had to be extra careful. And while the oven doesn't look brand new, I have to say that I'm really happy with how it turned out.
After the oven came the microwave. In a glass measuring cup, I put half a cup of vinegar and half a cup of water and microwaved it for about four to five minutes. This made wiping down the inside a breeze. Here is your little reminder to clean the other parts of the stove that often get forgotten. The little backsplash area, the hood, any crevices, and of course, the dials. Next, I wanted to reorganize this little area of our kitchen. This communication board wasn't really being used as I intended it, and our little snack holder became a catch-all for bags and other random items. With the plastic bags, I actually assemble five to six bags, one inside the next, and store them to be ready to grab for our bathroom trash bins. This helps me save time in the long run. Totally unrelated, but we recently picked up some balloons from the Dollar Tree, and some of them were really oddly shaped, like this one. I thought it kind of looked like a narwhal, so I decided to decorate it for Aubrey. I also decided to wipe down the top of our fridge and found some utensils, <clears throat> Quan, and you can't really see it, but it was super disgusting up there, so make sure you check out these little forgotten areas as well. Later in the evening, Juan was able to watch Aubrey and keep her occupied while I cleaned out the fridge and freezer. Now while it wasn't too disorganized, the fridge was pretty dirty and definitely needed a thorough cleaning. 
So I took everything out, gave the fridge and the drawers a good scrub, and then freshened up on my organization. I actually use these two Dollar Tree baskets to organize mine and Juan's food. This makes pulling out pre-planned meals a bit easier in my opinion, especially since Juan and I have differing eating habits. I ended the day by organizing the two cupboards that seem to always get disorganized. So here's to hoping that these stay this way as long as possible. On day three, I decided to tackle our eating and living area and our floors. But first, I took down the last of our February decorations. This was actually something I made in preschool at the age of five. I'm thankful that my mom saved a few of my crafts, and I'm looking forward to doing the same with Aubrey. Before doing anything major, I collected Aubrey's eating mat and our bathroom rugs and tossed them in the washer, and then I got started on organizing and wiping down our dining room table, our chairs, along with our coffee station and side table. Just like I did when I cleaned our bathrooms, I incorporated the use of my basket again as I organized the items on our table. I really recommend this little hack because it makes the cleaning go by faster and keeps everything in one place for when you have the time to go through each item and find its place in your home. One cleaning tip is to work from the top down. This is why I decided to save the floors for the last day of cleaning. But this logic also works in the fridge and cupboards too. There is nothing worse than cleaning something and then getting it dirty right after as you attempt to clean something else. You also may have noticed that our dual vacuum and steam mop is now blue and not red. We actually got ours replaced because it was leaking somewhere it shouldn't. Luckily ours was still under its warranty and we didn't have to pay a dime. I did however have to go two weeks without steam mopping and it killed me. I love how clean our floors feel after I steam mop.
A lot of the items I collected in my basket were for crafts, so I decided to bring the basket to my craft slash guest room, and I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at the before of a future organizing video. This room is a beast of its own and will need to be tackled sometime soon because my parents are coming to stay with us for a bit. So if you want to see a major transformation, stay tuned. Then it was time to finish the floors in the bathroom and hallway. And by the time that I was done cleaning, the laundry I loaded at the start of this cleaning session was dry and ready to be put back. Just to find somewhere that finally feels like I gotta say, I am pretty pleased that the entire house has remained fairly clean, given that I started the spring cleaning a couple days ago. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. We take care of all things mom on this channel and have a playlist for just about anything, so I'm sure there is something here that you will enjoy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My name is Emily and I post videos every Monday and Friday. In today's video, as you guys saw in the title, we are cleaning up from my daughter's fourth birthday party. We did a Frozen theme and I actually have three different party prep videos for the party, covering the food, the activities and games and prizes, as well as the decorations. So if you haven't checked out any of those or all of them, make sure to check those out after this video. As you guys can see, the aftermath of this party was, you know, pretty bad. <laughs> it, it got pretty messy and one of the activities in particular tracked in a lot of mess into the house. So our floors need a deep clean and there's just a lot to do. I'm actually gonna be taking care of this all over the course of a few days because there was only so much I could do the night of the party and then some of the other stuff I wanted to save for later anyways. And I'll explain that later on in this video. But let's go ahead and jump into this. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
history But we don't have to repeat it You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I'm gonna burn all the bridges between us I can't focus I can't So if you watched my activities video um, regarding the party prep, you saw that I made like a bunch of fake snow for the party and it consisted of baking soda and shaving cream mixed together. Well, I shared that I had the you know horrible idea of putting some ice water next to this in Aubrey's little activity station, thinking that the kids would just like rinse their hands when they're done and move on. But in like the first half an hour of me putting out the snow, Aubrey decided to pour like all the water into the snow mixture, which obviously turned it to like a white slush. And the kids had a blast playing with it, but obviously it didn't stay in the table. It got tracked in, it got on the floor, then people stepped in it and then came into the house for the food. And so my floor, like you really can't tell, the video doesn't do it justice, but it was like disgusting. <laughs> there was like this white stuff all over it and it just really needed a deep clean. So I was so excited to use my little like vacuum mop thing to clean the floors and we actually had to like rinse it out and refill it not even like I didn't even finish the kitchen before I had to clean this all out so it was it was that bad but midway through mopping the floors the power in our island which is where it was plugged in it actually went out and I didn't realize this and so we just thought that we had broke the machine because of how hard I guess we partied. <laughs> so I moved on to vacuuming the carpet and then we realized it was just like the power in the island went out. So Juan fixed that and then I got back to mopping the floors. <laughs> So I didn't finish the entire house because the kids were sleeping and I didn't really want to be super loud right outside their doors. So I kind of stopped mopping in the hallway and I will be taking care of kind of mopping the bathroom and like their bedroom hallway later on in this video. But I finished off the night by just vacuuming our couch particularly because like Aubrey would come in, put her feet up on the couch. And I know like those feet have been in that shaving cream, you know, mess. So I was just like, you know what, now's a good time to vacuum the couch and just get it nice and clean after the party. And I won't feel like there's any little last tracks of dirt from the party in our living space.
So it's a new day and I am surprised my body wasn't more sore than it already was. I fell asleep I think really quickly that night because my body was just super exhausted and like worn out from all the party prep, throwing the party, and then cleaning up after the party. But now we are moving on to getting stuff cleaned up outside, wiping down the tables that my sister lent us, and just kind of taking care of the aftermath of the party outside. So what are we gonna do with that? Okay. That's what you want. So here you see the aftermath of the fake snow activity center. <laughs> It was horrendous. There was like this weird gross slush that was in this table and I just tried to collect as much as I could before rinsing it off so that it wouldn't get like all stuck in our little drainage system. So Aubrey was my helper. She did help try to clean this up with me and we ended up hosing this table off. Then we have this other like little kitchen set up outside as well and that got pretty messy. And I was gonna leave this for Juan to do but he totally lucked out because a little bit later this afternoon we had a flash flood warning and it poured. We literally had like a river going down our front yard and it actually washed off pretty well like the kitchen center and our like cement patio area. So Juan really lucked out from um, having to do too much outdoor cleaning. I mean, he still helped out, but he lucked out from having to clean up these two messes. Had a feeling we had something Could have seen it in your eyes Took a second bed of my hair Waiting for you with open arms How about you coming closer We can do my place So here it is actually the night before Aubrey's actual birthday. I did want to leave up our balloon arch just to kind of enjoy the, you know, final result of that work um, a little bit more than just like one day. And we were going to have some friends over, so I wanted them to kind of see the decorations like in person, especially since they couldn't make it for the party. So, you know, I kind of, I wanted to leave those balloons up as long as possible, but I figured the night before Aubrey's birthday would be the perfect time to take them down, kind of deflate quietly since people were sleeping, deflate a lot of the balloons that were like stuck to each other. And then I actually separated the balloons that were just individual balloons. And we're gonna attach them to Aubrey's door using the leftover 
blue and purple streamers from her party so that in the morning when she opens the door all of the balloons will like fall into her room and my hope was that it would just like she'd just be excited just to have tons of balloons to play with my mom did this for me one time and i just like it just made me feel really special so I was so excited to like finally get to do this for my own daughter. Unfortunately though she really didn't like it. <laughs> I think probably the streamers kind of blocking her doorway in the morning made her feel like she couldn't leave her room or something but anyway she she wasn't too happy about the setup so she's given me permission to not do that again and you know it was a lot of work so i'm gonna take her up on that i may still try it with jack sometime in the future so you know maybe one of my kids will appreciate all of that work that i did but for now i think i'm off the hook and i'm okay with that <laughs> Okay, so it is a new day and I decided on this day to like really kind of finish up a lot of the kitchen stuff. So we are taking down my DIY willow curly table skirt thing that I made. And I'm actually gonna be trying to save this for some other party in case it fits the color scheme because it was a lot of work to make this. So I figured I would just try my best to save it and see if I can at least use it one more time. And we are also gonna be, you know, giving the floor underneath a good vacuum and mop, cleaning off our glass board design, which I was also really proud of, and cleaning our sliding glass door. Left a star glowing in your eyes when I'm not away. You left a scar. I fall into your lies all again. Where'd you go?
So to finish off this video, we are going to be taking down the things that I needed a ladder for because our ladder somehow got like tucked way in the back of our garage and it was hard for me to get by myself. So I had to kind of wait until Juan could get that for me. So we're finally taking down the snowflakes and the balloon and the little banner and wrapping up this party cleanup video. I would really like to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new, I would like to invite you to subscribe and stick around and make sure you check out my party prep videos because I did a lot of work as you guys could maybe see from this video and I'm really proud of it. And I think that if you are gonna be throwing a frozen party, you can hopefully get a lot of ideas from my party preps. So thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be tackling our master suite, meaning both the bedroom as well as the bathroom. To be honest, this room I've let kind of just, it's gotten carried away. <laughs> we had Aubrey's birthday and our bedroom is kind of like a dump all for things. When Juan decides to clean, he moves all of the objects into our room and then I have to go ahead and actually organize them and put them away. It's just kind of the method that we've, you know, embraced, I guess. And so on this day, I have to be honest, I was in a total rut. I felt frumpy and super unmotivated, but I knew that like this had to get done. And when I'm feeling that way, when I'm feeling super frumpy, I'm not eager to jump in front of the camera and film things to motivate anyone else because I just feel so unmotivated. But I wanted to be extra transparent with you guys and just hopefully my <laughs> battling my depression and getting up and doing this despite how I was feeling, I'm hoping that it can motivate you guys to do something that you've been pushing off or you've been really struggling with. Because honestly, filming this video, as simple as it is, was difficult for me. Like I said, I'm not super eager to film things when I'm feeling in a rut, and I've been feeling in a rut for a really long time. So I appreciate your guys' support, and I hope that this motivates you to, again, tackle something you've been putting off. But I would like to thank Yasonic for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this three-tiered rolling cart. This cart, when assembled, is 32 inches tall and 18.1 inches wide, can rotate 360 degrees and hold up to 33 pounds. The product came nicely packaged and was very easy to assemble. First, I put the provided rods through the sleeves of the fabric baskets and then inserted the rectangular bases to make the baskets more sturdy. Then I assembled the metal side pieces and attached them to the baskets using the provided screws and washers. Finally, I attached the wheels. I'm still debating to, on where exactly I plan to use the cart as I have many places to still organize. It fits nicely in our pantry for extra food storage possibly, or it could go in our laundry room. But for now, I'm gonna keep it in our bedroom and I think I may end up organizing Aubrey's homeschool books and supplies on the cart so that I can eventually roll it out to indicate that it's school time and then roll it back to put it away and let Aubrey just go on and play. You can also use this product in a nursery to organize a diaper changing station or in a toy or craft room. So again, I'd like to thank Yasonic for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will place the link to the product down below in the description box if you want to get one of these three tiered rolling carts for yourself or a loved one. Now let's go ahead and finish tidying and cleaning our master suite.
So this area is one where Juan and I have different expectations of how it looks. I obviously want it to be organized, but I like to have like my toothbrush and floss and all of that stuff kind of out so that I see it and remember <laughs> to take care of my body. And Juan, on the other hand, like wants everything to be cleared and like have nothing on the countertops. So let me know down below in the comments like what you prefer. Would you rather have your toothbrush? paste and toothbrush in a drawer so that every time you brush your teeth you have to open up the drawer and take it out or do you leave it on the countertops? Let me know down below in the comments. So kind of unrelated, but kind of related, I guess, you know, as I said, I'm super frumpy in this video, feeling super unmotivated. And it reminded me of like a hate comment that I recently got on my channel. It was on like a Dollar Tree tooth whitening update video. And someone came on that video to say, when your sex appeal is at 0%. And I'm like, First of all, who goes to a teeth whitening update video for sex appeal? Second of all, who feels like that's an appropriate thing to say? And I don't know, I'm because I'm a words of affirmation person, comments like that do hurt. I kind of shake it off because it's just so out there that it's just kind of like I'm going to just roll my eyes and try to move past it. Plus, it kind of makes me feel like I'm actually... A true YouTuber now. You know, if I'm getting hate comments, that must mean something, <laughs> even though my channel still is relatively small. But I can't help but think about that comment when I'm feeling so frumpy and so down on myself lately. I don't know. I, I just kind of felt the need to vent about that to you guys. I feel like, you know, those of you guys who are regular watchers and continue to come back and support me have like my best interest in your hearts as well. And like, I don't know, I just, I feel so much support from you guys who come back and watch all of my videos and comment, you know, um, words of affirmation. It just really means a lot, especially with how I've been feeling. So as I'm putting the rugs back in front of our shower and bathtub, I know that it's not like perfectly symmetrical with the shower, but I know that like when you open the door, you're gonna be stepping out like not right in the middle of like where the door is. Usually it's towards like the most outer opening of the door. So I'm like still debating, do I want it to look nice here or do I want it to be like functional and logical? But that is something that I am kind of debating on in this phase. But we are wrapping up today's video. I hope that, you know, me ranting or just venting to you guys can still kind of spark something in yourself for reflection or growth. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. Suzy Pa. Oh, so hi guys. And welcome to the channel. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. The person you saw at the beginning is my daughter, Aubrey. She totally stole my camera when I was taking care of my son, Jack. In today's video, we are tackling the almost the entire house. I didn't get a chance to really focus on the bathrooms this day, but our, you know, the rest of the house was in major need of 
tidying and cleaning up. We have just made a mess the night before, and honestly, I haven't been sleeping that well with Jack, so, you know, I just kind of gave myself some grace and waited until the next day to really tackle it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and get some motivation to tackle some of the tasks around your house. So I recently vacuumed this carpet, but I really wanted like the vacuum lines because we were going to have some guests over. So I didn't really move our cushion out of the way. If I knew that our carpet was dirty, I definitely would have moved that out of the way. Um, in this clip, you guys can see like my computer is just going crazy. And that's because I have some headphones in my ears and I'm like listening to a show as I clean. This kind of keeps me sane as, you know, being a stay-at-home mom who doesn't always have adult interaction. It's really nice to like just listen to other adult voices as I'm cleaning and, you know, the volume is still low enough for me to hear Aubrey and tend to my children and still take care of them, you know, in every way that they need. But... It is kind of a nice little mental distraction as I do the mundane chores throughout the house. And, you know, for me dealing with depression and um, just being exhausted, it keeps me awake. So if you need to do something like that to, you know, conquer a lot of your chores in your house or just stay sane and not just hear kid whines and cries all day, I highly recommend getting a good pair of little, like, you know, AirPods or whatever, and listening to a show or a podcast or a book or, you know, whatever you enjoy. It, it really is helping me a lot. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and And then, of course, you know, as I'm trying to keep our place clean, Aubrey decided to have a little tea party set up here. So I had to leave that here as long as, you know, possible, as long as she was interested in having a tea party. And we ended up having a little snack. So here, um, Jack was kind of waking up. I wanted to go in there and kind of tidy while he was still asleep, but he woke up. You don't see him in this clip, but this entire time, well, maybe you see his feet on the left-hand side. He's sitting in his high chair with some like little toys and watching me work. A lot of the times when he is awake, I'm just so exhausted and, you know, like I'm just like on the floor playing with him and I don't really have the energy to do all that I'm doing. Uh, in this room, I'm bringing all of our baby clothes in and really removing every single toy and moving it to the toy room or playroom so that this room can just be for books and bed. So like I said, normally I try to get the stuff done when Jack is sleeping, but he was awake and you know he could still see me, he was entertained, and it actually really worked out for us. But uh, you know, on a normal day when I'm exhausted from horrible sleep the night before, uh, when he's awake, I'm usually just playing with him or playing with Aubrey and watching him at the same time.
Right here you can see I actually used some spring rods to create some lower like hanging storage for Aubrey's dresses and I think she really likes them. She likes to go in and kind of choose her clothes. So it was a really great way in my opinion to utilize that space in her closet. And then we get to see Jack. He's uh, practicing sitting up in this video. This was like a, a big day for us because in some of these clips it's the longest that he's sat up. So pretty big moments for a little Jackie boy. And you'll get to see some more cute little moments at the end of this video if you want to check in on Jack and see how he's doing. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher, higher. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher, higher. Oh. So by this time, I think Jack was asleep, and so I decided to kind of just vacuum and clean the mirrors in our playroom. But Aubrey, I had to show you guys this. Aubrey made me this. It is a wallet. She took some cardboard and like taped it up, folded it, and even put some coins in there, and then even taped on like a little piece of sea glass for decoration. I just thought it was really creative and, you know, obviously... Um, it can't really be used because it's all taped together, but I just thought it was really cute. And I really like to encourage her creative juices, even if it is wasting a bunch of office supplies. But like I said, in this room, we're just kind of cleaning up. Um, I'm going to be getting to all of these toys eventually and doing an organizing video. I really want to do like a seasonal rotation of the toys in those boxes. Right now, it's just like random toys thrown everywhere. Pieces of sets are separated. So we got a lot to get to, but you know, that will be done shortly, but at least that room is kind of somewhat tidy. And then we're moving on to changing the sheets in our master bedroom because they were, um, they were, it was time. It was time to change the sheets. Several times It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't and we also, since we recently moved um, Jack's crib to Aubrey's room, we have like more space now in this part in our bedroom. So I wanted just to kind of clear out all of the baby stuff. And we, um, I didn't film this, but like in the day that followed or whatever, I also moved a lot of the baby stuff that was in our master bathroom to the other bathroom. So we're kind of, you know, unbabying our master bedroom and really moving all of the kids stuff to the other side of the house and you know it feels like a good change I think we're gonna establish an even better routine now that bedtimes are moving up and you know hopefully we'll start sleeping through the night I could use some prayers on that but it was nice to like just vacuum this area and not have a big changing table in the way or a crib or anything like that So moving on, we are going to tackle my master shower. I'd like to thank Hi Say for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this awesome rust-proof stainless steel shower caddy, which we will be using to make the master shower a bit more functional. The evening before, I actually opened up the package that it shipped in and assembled the caddy. The pieces came nicely packed and they were accompanied by two little tools to help with the simple assembly. I think it is funny that on the box it says no assembly, but I had to assemble the product. But I think what was meant by that was that you don't need any additional tools and there is absolutely no drilling needed when mounting the product in your shower. 
The caddy comes with some 3M sticker zip ties that secure the bottom portion of it to the shower walls to keep it from swinging. And I especially like how there are plenty of hooks on the caddy to hold loofahs, exfoliators, um, you know, and other shower necessities. There is also plenty of storage space in each of the three baskets, enough to hold all of your shower items. Our master shower was definitely in need of some organization. All of our cleansing products just kind of sat on the little bench in the shower, making the bench unusable and causing some like mildewy type marks just by, you know, having everything sit there and be wet. So now our little bench has some more free space and all of our products are nicely displayed and we can, it's like eye level or a little bit above for us because our um, like faucet or whatever it's called, the shower head is like really high in our bathroom, but everything is like easily visible and we, you know, we know what we're looking at. It's not like hidden behind some other product on our bench. It feels so much better to know that everything has its place and that our bench probably won't get like as gross anymore. So again, I'd like to thank HiSay for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me to organize my shower better. If this seems like a product that you guys would like or are interested in, I will make sure to put the link down below in the description box so that you guys can check it out for yourself. So just like in other parts of my video, I'm pretty sure I was doing this shower organization when Jack was taking one of his naps, and I'm pretty sure I was able to get dinner started or at least complete most of making this little homemade chicken noodle soup while he was sleeping as well, which is obviously really helpful because when he's awake, it, you know, he takes more attention. But I was able to make this dinner as requested by Juan. Um, on the same day. So I was really proud of myself for being able to do so much <laughs> in one day. I do want you guys to know that I would not be able to take care of like all of this stuff on back-to-back -back days. This actually really wiped me out, especially for not, you know, getting full night sleeps right now. Um, and so if you are a mom watching my video, take this as motivation, but know that, you know, I was surprised at how much I got done today and I was exhausted and probably didn't get nearly as much done on the following days. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind if you're feeling energetic, you know, and you, and you can tackle as much as I did or more, that's awesome. But don't, you know, beat yourself up if you can only get to one task when you're taking care of your kids because they are the most important part of your day and everything else can wait if your kids are in need of, you know, mommy time. So just kind of keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it motivates you. I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Okay, he's on his own. He's on his own. Good job, Baba, yay! <laughs> Good job, but he did do it. Yeah. Good job, Baba. <laughs>